All right, today's objective is going to be to find the velocity of an object such as this when it hits another object when it's at its lowermost point. We're starting with an angle of 30 degrees. The object weighs 500 kilograms. We do not know the length of the object, the length of the string on the object, but we do know that it makes 10 oscillations per minute. So, right now we're going to use this formula, frequency equals number of oscillations over time, to find the period. So, we have an F value, well F is what we're trying to find, we have a number of oscillations being 10, and we have time equals 60 because we're finding it in a minute. We have F equals 0.17 is what it comes out to be. So, we can sub the F into this formula, T equals 1 over F, where T equals 1 over 0.17 to find a T value of 6. Now we will sub 6 into this equation, t equals 2 pi times the value of length over 9.8. We're trying to find length, so we have 6 equals 2 pi times the value of length over 9.8. Once we multiply it out, we get a length of 8.9 meters. So we go back when. to Okay, so now that we found our length, being the hypotenuse in this case, we can make a separate triangle, being of the same dimensions and angles as the one before, where we have 60 and 30, and 8.9 is our hypotenuse. We can do sine of 60 equals the unknown over 8.9 and we get a y value in this case of 7.7. So basically what we find is that this being 7.7 we can subtract 8.9 from 7.7 to find a difference between these two spaces of 1.2. So, now we have potential energy, potential energy due to gravity when it's at its highest point, kinetic energy when it's at its lowest point. Since energy always remains the same, we can set the two equal to each other in these formulas. Potential energy due to gravity equals kinetic energy. Potential energy due to gravity, we have height times acceleration times mass. Kinetic energy, we energy we have one half mv squared. The m's cancel. We have the height of, of um, we have the height difference of 1.2, which was just, just discovered. We have 9.8. We have one half, and then we do not know the v squared. So we multiply this out, and we have velocity of 4.8 meters per second.